when yeah. they drink, they'll have to have their hooves, their <laughs> pinky hooves yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, great day out there today, Josh. Yeah, yeah. for us and goats alike. They're uh, soaking up the sunshine that took a little bit to get here. But once it did, things started to warm back up. And that's where we take you to Government Camp, a beautiful view of Mount Hood with just a few fair weather cumulus clouds dancing about the peak. 62 right now with not a cloud to be seen in the sky out towards the Dalles. A little bit warmer out that direction at 80, but much cooler than what we have seen out that direction over the past little while as those winds are the biggest cause for concern for starting and spreading new wildfires out the northwest at about 18 miles per hour. As all of that wildfire smoke continues to track its way off to the east, you'll notice the bedrock fire in Lane County. This is just to the south of the Holiday Farm fire that scorched that area back in 2020 continues to pollute the skies, especially out towards Bend over the next several days. So if you are traveling to the east side of the Cascades, likely going to be running into a lot of wildfire smoke, reducing the air quality to the unhealthy category, if not even to the very unhealthy category. So you want to make sure that you limit your time outside as those winds will likely kick up once again for tomorrow afternoon after seeing gusts near about 30 miles per hour today. It's the sweet spot during the early morning hours where the winds do taper back to about three miles per hour, if not even on the calm side come tonight and tomorrow morning as the onshore flow helps to increase relative humidity values for us, but dries things out on the east side of the Cascades after our daytime high temperatures have flirted with the 80 degrees, but our normal temperature this time of year should be 84, so sitting slightly cooler than what is normal for this time of year. Now we've managed to put down just about a trace of rain back on Monday and Tuesday earlier today and back on the 10th, but still holding on to that deficit of almost a half inch for us here out at PDX. The average amount of rainfall we should see for the month of July is right at about a half inch, so likely going to be on the dry side as the month quickly nears its end. Where we last saw measurable rainfall was on June 19th, only picking up about a tenth of an inch, and that was 36 days ago. So we are in need of some wet weather, but unfortunately, as the month of August approaches, we only typically see about another half inch of rain for this month, making it the second driest month just after the month of July. As high pressure is the culprit for the drying mechanism, but this upper level low pressure pressure system, multiple lows that keep developing are going to keep our temperatures closer to what is normal for this time of year, which puts us in the low to mid 80s in Portland. So for the rest of tonight, expecting a hold on to those clear skies after the midnight hour, maybe some patchy clouds to develop to start the day off with tomorrow, but that quickly mixes out. The sunshine returns much faster than what we saw today, allowing for those temperatures to climb closer to the upper 70s, low 80s by the earlier afternoon hours as opposed to right now for today. And then we do it all over again for Thursday. So this is going to be a rinse and repeat scenario as the overnight lows are expected to dip just below 60 tonight. Tomorrow warming back up into the low to mid 80s. Plenty of sunshine by the afternoon and evening and it's just going to be like a broken record every day seeing just about the exact same weather pattern and that makes it very easy for us forecasters and those who maybe want to plan some outdoor activities because you know what's coming your way all the way through the weekend, but next week, that's where the summer heat slowly creeps its way back in. Yes, you're saying enjoy these great evenings right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's picture perfect out there. All right, okay. thanks, Josh. Yeah. Hey, happening tonight.